Paper. It's all about London dancer. London dancer, you don't know that hard work. New style on every day, me and I said, Who's he have been doing this for me? was five years old. Well, David Radgan. Me like the cocks and tell you, say, you are not the godfather for reggae in England. Never has been. I want you to remember David Radigan. The first time you go to a big sound system dance in England is I man like the cocks and carry you. So when you talk about you are godfather for reggae, you have to talk about Duke Vin, Count Suckle, Count Steve, Duke Lee, Sofrana B, Neville Musical Enchanter, Duke Reed, Lord Coos, V Rocket of Nottingham, Lord Cali of Birmingham, Cass of Manchester and I can go on and name four more hundred who is Godfather Reggae. You people in Jamaica who no make white people come and fool on all the while. The first embarrassment where you Jamaica people embarrass our 500 sound system men here in England is to give David Radigan a award for the upbringing of Reggae. Now that is a disgrace and a shame. People must realize say, David Radigan do have no sound system. David Radigan never load a 10 ton truck with speaker box and amplifier and travel five and six hundred miles in a snow to carry the Jamaica reggae to play to people all about in the United Kingdom. We done that. Him never broke down in a snow with a ten ton truck of box and you can't leave it till help come. Police never lick him in a ball head yet with button <laughs> to play reggae music. There are many sound system man here who serve prison sentence to bring up Jamaica music in this country. So when me soon a big up white boy like David Radigan over other great Jamaicans, we have them sound and go to all of hardship to play, to bust our Jamaica music. Do, these things are very hurtful. This one's a bit, this one's a little bit political, but you don't know, this is war report and it is what it is. I mean, um, you know, there was a, a, a speech made by Lloyd Coxon. Yes. I mean, no doubt you heard what he said. Oh, I, gosh, I mean, yeah. I saw the video too, yeah. Yeah. How, how did you feel about that, man? I deeply hurt. Mm. Who wouldn't be? I remember cutting dubs in Jamaica at Channel One. Mm. This is before you had your name in dubs. Different mixes of Gregory Isaacs, Tony Tuff. Coming back to my flat in Barnes. Lloydie Coxon was outside in a car. I gave him the dubs that I'd cut off the plane with from Jamaica, and he mm. took them to the Four Aces Club that night and won a clash. Okay. And returned them to me. Lloydie Coxon was my special guest on Capital Radio one night when they did a whole focus on him as a producer, the work he did with Fred Locks and everything else. I was one of his biggest fans. I, I didn't understand why he made that virulent, vicious speech on video. I just don't understand what, what, what was the... Lloydy, what was the point? What, what did you... What have I done? I'm a, I'm a white boy? Yeah, I'm a white guy. Yeah, so what? You're a black man. Have I ever disrespected you? No. I just... I gasped when I saw it because I absolutely couldn't believe it. And um, I think he was encouraged to do it by another individual whose name I'm not going to call, but he knows who he is. Um... There are one or two rather poisonous people out there who seem to have a burning desire to hurt and upset people, and I don't see the point. I've only ever shown love to Lloydie Cox, and I followed his sound, Blacker, Festus, and so on and so forth. Uh, why did he do that? I'll never understand. And, you know, I've, I, I, it took my breath away, and I'm still speechless. Well, mm. What did it actually achieve? I, I don't understand what it achieved. What did I do? I... I can't help the colour I am. I can't help the fact that I fell in love with Jamaican music and I wanted to play it on the radio and I had him on as my guest and I played his records on the radio when he was releasing and producing records. And then he, several years later, he said that. Yeah, it's, um, it's unfortunate and, uh, you know, he's obviously very angry um, and very, you know, I don't... Lloydy Coxon, I've said it a hundred times. As soon as I saw the video... I forgave you, and I do forgive you. I hold you no malice. Okay, how come, how, come you, how come you forgave him? Because what can you do in the face of hate? Now, I'm giving myself an assignment right here, London Dancehall TV, to 
investigate this case and try to have a conversation with both parties and see where we can find what is the stemming and why and all these good words, even though we can work it out. Do you think David Rodigan did a good job of endorsing dancehall music to the world? Or do you think that the accolade should have gone to one of the original sound system selectors or sound systems owners, whatever, that has been pioneering the dancehall music throughout all these years? Is it always a case that the people who is not from the indigenousness of dancehall always get credit or do they deserve the credit for what they have done because personally i think everyone who has done something in something deserve their credit i think that the first person who spoke have a point and the second person who spoke has their point <clears throat> what do you think leave some comments look out for a video i'm gonna try to interview lady coxon and i'm gonna try to interview david rodigan and see where we can get this trashed out and even um men back if anything is there to men stay tuned to this channel this channel try to bring you whatever is happening in london dance art people you talk about london dance art london dance art you don't know that all the past New signs on every day, man, and that's it.